No one knows how it started, but everyone knows where it goes. In the year 1971, the government announced a new economic policy, along with a new agriculture policy and industrial master plan in years afterwards. Everything was anew, just to take Malaysia's economy to a new high. By going through industrialization, now we don't have to export the, the commodities in its raw form. We can process uh, these commodities to add value to the commodities so that it can fetch uh, better revenue. Besides acting as a self-supplementary measure, it also aimed to boost Malaysia's economy by transforming it into an export-oriented country. The process of industrialization, I think, uh, starts uh, in the 70s, in the early 70s, with what we call import substitution. At that time, we focused more on substituting the imports. Uh, but uh, with the introduction of the PIP, we focused more on export promotion. So this is the, 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 the change in direction in the road along with the PIP in terms of uh, industrialization. The industrial master plan promotes the purchase of local brands, implements industrialization in rural areas, increases research and development, as well as introduces heavy industry as a new form of industrial evolution. Besides that, the plan also rearranges the existing industrial plan, improves long-lasting consumer goods in other developing countries. Often unknown to the society, the industrialization of a country faced great obstacles and challenges before we became what we are today. One of the main concerns was poor soil quality. Tanah untuk penanaman buah sawit ni, kalau kira sawit ni kat mana-mana pun dia boleh hidup. Antara dia kualiti minyak dia elok dengan tak elok. Tapi kalau untuk buah kelapa sawit ni, seeloknya tanah gambut ataupun tanah bukit yang agak cantik kualiti minyak dia. Maksudnya seperti tanah buangan air, tanah liat, tanah masin tu kualiti minyak dia kurang cantik dan tahap umur pokok sawit dia pun tak boleh pergi uh, seperti pokok sawit, uh, tanah gambut. Besides that, acres upon acres of lands were wasted because of disorganized tree planting. This is the land of the land. The land of the land is the land of the land. The industrial operators also had a hard time in getting employees that could have opted for white-collar jobs in the cities. The economy is growing, is booming. The local population has, has a choice actually to go to jobs that, that pay for higher paying, uh, high, higher paying jobs. So most of the labour of the youth in this country 
has now the option to go to uh, higher paying jobs. That's why uh, most of them are, are reluctant to, to join the labour market in the, in the plant, plantation sector. For example, if, if labour labor cost is rising, so they have to implement programs to substitute uh, labour with uh, machines if, uh, if they can come up with inventions that, that can replace uh, labour. Prices like uh, fertiliser, raw, material, raw materials, uh, these are subject to uh, fluctuation, fluctuation in, the, in the world market. You know, if, if Malaysia uh, has to pay for a high fertiliser price, then, then it has to consider you know, producing its own fertiliser if they can manage. Moreover, our country is still struggling to catch up with research and development in the industrial sector. So uh, some, some uh, research institute, they only do research, okay? Like uh, RRI for rubber research, Porim uh, for oil palm research. But uh, lately, uh, they have also put in the, the element of commercialization by uh, cooperating, incorporating these institutes. That means the, they have to add in the role of uh, marketing, the role of commercialization for this R&D. The private sector can also uh, come in through joint ventures to promote the results of uh, R&D. Uh, this is where uh, joint ventures between uh, private sector and government research institute can help uh, bridge the, the gap between R&D and also commercialization. Sokongan pada kerajaan ni kalau kita nampak pada sawit ni agak terhad lah kalau berbanding pada sektor lain kan. Tapi kalau pada sistem-sistem yang ada dia bagi, dia galakkan kita pakai timbang, komputer. Jadi rasanya ada jugalah pada kerajaan. Jadi kalau penanaman semula dia bagi percuma kepada kita. Jadi itu je yang nampak pada kerajaan bagi kepada kita. Tapi kalau kau pada sistem timbang, komputer tu semua, itu semua bagus untuk kita bagi pekebun percaya kepada perair. Lastly, the high production cost was another great challenge in the past. Mungkin pelda macam pelda, pelda tu kerajaan sepenuhnya dia nak membantu orang Melayu. Jadi support dia orang tu pelda ni agak berbeza pada kampung. Kalau pada kampung ni untuk Baja tu semua perkebun kena keluar modal sendiri. Mungkin ada perbezaan. Cuma kita kampung ni tak nampak apa perbezaan dia yang jelas lah. Kalau kampung ni tengoklah kemudahan dia pun agak kurang. Sawit pun agak tak terkawal macam Felda. Paddy takes time and effort to mature into a full-grown plant that holds the most important staple food in the world. Similarly, the industrialization of Malaysia is in its growing stage too. It takes time and effort.